So today's the day after the King's coronation. Hooray, God save the King. And it's been a week uh, since we've had our fix on the Sonos Arc soundbar. Now, we've got Encanto here, and you can see it's Ultra 4K, Dolby Vision, Atmos, all, the, all these nice things. And if I push play on that, you better see in the bottom corner of the TV, but, yeah, Dolby Atmos. It's definitely outputting Dolby Atmos. And it's been a week and it's been working perfectly. So, the next part of the video is how we did this. So, let's get into it. So, further to my faulty sound bar saga and complaining to Sonos. Guess what's turned up? Yep. Yeah. Looks like the solution is to replace it. All right, let's do some unboxing. It is a whole brand new one. Look at that. There's two little catches on the end here. Unlock, unlock, lift the top off. And here we have the most beautiful Sonos Arc. It's in this lovely cloth. So there's the soundbar. And on the back, you've got your Ethernet in, your power, and your eARC HDMI. Right to here. And here's the old one. And so let's pull out the power. Let's pull out the HDMI. And plug it in. Right, it's in. It's in. Right, so whilst that's booting up, so other things you've got in the box. So you've got the, the sound bar and in the bottom there is the power cable, the HDMI cable that actually to be fair is a bit short. And there's some kind of optical adapter that we're not gonna be using. And there is a booklet of some sort. So I'm just gonna Bag up the old one so it can be shipped back and let's just hope that the new one works. I fired up my Sonos app and it's popped up immediately saying add. So I'm adding the new arc. Yeah, okay, let's allow that. Continue. Yeah, allow someone using the app. Now micro to access your mobile device. Okay. Okay. So it's doing something new. Play a chime, okay. Adding to my system, it's still adding to the system. So the white on the Sonos bar is going green, white, green, white flashing. I'm hoping it's gonna remember all the true play settings. Okay. So it looks like it's added. So where should we add this to? It goes in the living room. There's an update available. Okay, let's do the update. Adapt the sound USB with true play tuning. Watch on your iPad, yeah, I already know this. Add an alarm, yeah, yeah, I already know this. That sort of works, but it kind of forgets them sometimes. Personalize your listening, oh. That's something new I haven't seen before. Automatic updates, I'm pretty certain, always on. If you don't mind lots of adverts, you got Sonos Radio too. So while it's doing this update, you can see the lights going White and then orange, orangey red, blinking between the two. It's been added, so I can personalise some settings. <sighs> Connect your TV. Connect to Arc. Connecting. I should probably turn the TV on. Turn on the TV. So it says it's good. TV is on. Okay, so it made a little noise. And I'm sure I saw it blink on the front not connected so let's fix that to here go to system arc so you, I guess you can't have two arcs connected this one we have to remove it it's the one in the living room sub sub yes okay so that's now moving this sub to the new sound bar group All right, the lights on solid on there all right now we have sub. Aha. 
Now we've got to remove the surrounds off this one to add them to living room. Set up surrounds. So select, yes, yes. So it was playing a bing noise and I could hear it on my rear right speaker. So that's the one I selected. So now it knows which orientation those two speakers are. Oh, so let's go. And now if I go to here, I should have one living room. Excellent. So let's play some music. Okay, so it looks like we have sound coming through. Got to reset up my equaliser. Yeah, I can play with that. So apart from doing a bit of true play tuning, I think we're pretty much there. We want to be testing something on here. Seems to sound okay. Here, I guess we need to find a movie and test that.